Hey, welcome to Weld.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today I want to talk about a little bit of protection for your hands and arms. Uh, I'm, I'm wearing some safety gear right now that keeps me from getting sunburned. Even in TIG welding, you get ultraviolet, so you'll see me wearing these a lot. But I get the question a lot, especially on the forums, what kind of gloves do I use and why? Uh, so I want to show you, I brought four different types of gloves here today and talk about the pricing, what you pay for them, what they're made of, and why you'd select them over another. So, uh, you know, a lot of times it's price. And uh, so I went down to a local store. I won't tell you the name of it, it's just the last name is Freight. And uh, I picked up a pair of gloves. And I've actually used these before. And uh, I thought they were cotton gloves. At least I thought they were. Turns out that they are cotton, but they're only 30% cotton. And uh, they have good flexibility and you can get good good coverage as far as uh, you know get, getting your hands burnt things like that but uh, the problem is these little dots right here they're kind of a rubber and, and when you touch your part they'll burn now the uh, the material itself I'm reading through it, it says 30 percent cotton 70 percent polyester so uh, we're going to show you a demonstration here in a little while I'm going to weld up aluminum plate and then uh, pick the plate up with these gloves so just be aware that they give you a little bit of coverage um, not a lot so if that's all you've got then uh, then great they sell for a dollar a piece so I'm gonna set those aside for the moment here's one of my favorite gloves and uh, this is a, a, a thin leather sometimes they make them in goat skin but uh, uh, there's a lot of manufacturers of these and I, I like these a lot because they're pretty flexible they're still leather or goat skin all the way around and you can see the fingers you can see I've actually burnt this finger and been able to pick up parts things like that and one of the reasons these are so attractive is they give you great coverage but uh, they only sell for I don't know somewhere between 12 and 15 dollars depending on uh, which brand that you get but still get uh, pretty good coverage with this and then I'm gonna move over to uh, kind of the you know this is this is the average or below average and this is average and this is best um, and the reason that it's actually a super high quality glove is because they take into consideration a couple of things one is we had talked about this glove and if you take a look at these fingers and you pick up parts an awful lot with these two fingers uh, usually you burn this finger and this leather will shrink well this glove took that in consideration and they put a little extra leather pad right there and they put another little extra pad right there at your thumb and those are the common places to burn your gloves so you get a lot more life out of it so the, the finger doesn't shrink up real small and you're trying to feed your hand into it so you've got you've got double coverage in a couple of different areas so you, you can just see the quality difference these things fit really tight and I've got a little velcro that I can I can wrap it around. Now, I don't use these for MIG welding, but uh, so I don't have to worry about spat or getting down on the cuff. Uh, if I do, then I just proceed to the all-purpose glove, and this has a cuff on it. It's basically the same glove, gives me the same protection, but it gives me much more protection here for the spatter coming off my part. Uh, these gloves are they're pretty spendy but they're worth it they're about uh, 45 to 50 dollars a pair and uh, but they'll last three or four times longer so you know you kind of do the numbers and see what works for you so and, and finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set up I'm going to do an aluminum welding sample and I'm going to pick up the part with different gloves so you can see uh, these right here are, are going to have most of the problems uh, these other pairs they're going to work out just fine so let me get my gear on I'll run a sample and show you
Okay, this uh, aluminum plate's pretty hot. I'm gonna be careful how I show you how this actually burns. But you can see that it immediately burns onto the plate. I'm careful not to get that, that rubber or plastic, whatever that is, to burn into my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick this thing up. And you can see that I get not a problem at all. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this again. I'm just going to do another little little weld on the other side, and I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use one of each of the other pairs of gloves. So I've got these, and these are very popular, as I'd mentioned. Especially, they give you good coverage at the right price point. These definitely are, are heavy duty, and you can see the little pads on there. And, and when I grab this, I'll be grabbing with those two pads. So let's run another weld, see what it looks like. Okay, so now this, this plate's getting pretty warmed up. I'm gonna have to move it. Move the plate over here. So I'm gonna grab it with these two fingers right here. And you can see that's just not a problem. So you can see where that, uh, that plastic was right here. It's smelling and burning and you know, just need to need to stay away from anything that's got rubber or plastic on your glove. So uh, all in all, of course, these are the heaviest duty because of all the different uh, overlays and overlaps. Um, these held up pretty good. You can actually see burn marks on them. And you can see that the finger is starting to shrink up. And as you get more and more burn marks on it, that finger will shrink up more. So that's really what causes the longevity issues with this type of glove. Uh, I do an awful lot of light welding, so gloves last me a long, long time. So uh, th that's it for now. Just go out and get yourself a glove that's comfortable for you. And uh, thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.